Hello there and welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigerians' leading initiative in the business of brand management and in the management of brand business. It is a 30-minute wholesome package that comprises brand news, brand and focus, and industry conversation, all in a mix, encompassing, thorough and in-depth, or aimed at promoting the brand idea. I'm Ogalia Bikele Mafu. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV a half-hour TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Good to have you back. First on Marketing Edge on TV is Brand News, where we bring you the latest happenings around brands and in the field of advertising, marketing, and communication in Nigeria and around the world. Now on brand news. In a bid to consolidate on existing efforts aimed at repositioning the Nigerian advertising industry, the Honorable Minister of Information, Alaji Lai Mohammed, has approved the long-awaited revised code of advertising practice. This was disclosed in a statement signed by the Registrar of the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, APCON, Dr. Lekon Fadolapo. According to the statement, the sixth edition of the Nigerian Code of Advertising Practice, Sales Promotion, and Other Rights Restrictions of Practice will take effect from 1st December 2021 as the operation of the fifth edition of the Code ceases on the 30th of November 2021. Meanwhile, plans are underway by the regulatory agency to remove names of practitioners who have failed to pay the required practice fee in accordance with their category of membership for the past five years. The FS body has advised practitioners to update their profile with the agency and pay all outstanding fees as a directive for removal will take effect from Friday 17th, December 2021. Determined to ensure street compliance with the new advertising industry standards of practice ISOP, the Association of the Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, Chipoe N, has set up a monitoring compliance unit. The unit, which was constituted recently at Chipoe N Secretariat, is saddled with the responsibility of monitoring infringements of Chipoe N and APCON codes and laws, among other functions. Speaking during the event, President of Chipoe N, Steve mm -hmm. Abayako, stated, The importance and timeliness of the unit cannot be overemphasized. With the introduction of ISOP, the unit will have to ensure that the industry is working in line with laid down guidelines. The advertising industry standard of practice ISOP, which took effect from 6th of October 2021, is the new guideline for all advertising practitioners. It also provides the regulatory framework in all critical areas of concern for their stakeholders. Tobem's Media, as part of activities to mark its 10th anniversary, and build Leoval Group, an innovative group that thrives on seamless execution across all business interests, and newly launched marketing innovation company Trust Citini. The dual ceremony was graced by Chairman Aquila Group of Companies and Honorable Member of Federal House of Representatives, Shinapela. Director, Creative and Innovations, Globacom, Chuka Obi, and President, National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria, Idoren Yang Enang, amongst other dignitaries and representatives of partnery brands and clients. Speaking on the anniversary, CEO and Creative Director, Tobem's Media, Tosa Mbembe, said, when I started Tobem's Media, the idea was to continually turn value to product. I decided to evolve from just video editing and camera to multimedia. So Tobem's Media, the production company that started out with just one camera and a laptop, has transformed to Lova Group, which now has Tobem's Media, Tobem's Production, and Trusty Citini, a 360 marketing innovation company. 
It was glints and glamour last weekend as advertisers honored EGs of Advertisers Association of Nigeria Advan rewarded outstanding brands and products in the Nigerian market for their creative excellence in marketing and market performance. The recognition and honor bestowed on the best performing brands in the market held at Musun Center on Econ Lagos at this year's Advance Award with the theme Future Fit Marketing Be Tomorrow Ready. Speaking during the occasion, Acting President of Advan, Mrs. Bumi Adeniba, said it is important to recognize and honor outstanding feats that have been attained by brand owners in their various market segments through innovative and consumer insights. She however called for more collaboration amongst industry players, adding that members of the group should also be ready to serve in leadership positions so that the industry can be better for it. Well, so today is a celebration of excellence. It's one way where we actually re we redraw the baseline for knowledge sharing, creativity, and capability building as a team. So what we expect out of today's event is not just the glitz and glamour of an occasion. It's actually that we see good work that has been done and the other people are inspired. So either way, whether you're on the stage taking a trophy or not, you're living inspired for greater work that you can do in the interest of our consumers that we serve. The event, which was well attended by an array of industry experts and professionals from the integrated marketing communications industry, witnessed the emergence of winners in different awards categories, which include Brand of the Year, People's Brand of the Year, Marketing Professional of the Year, Innovation Campaign of the Year, Digital and Social Media Marketing, Legacy Brand, Indigenous Brand of the Year, Consumer Promotions, CSR Experiential Campaign of the Year, amongst others. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round of applause for Vicky. There were these who were elated expressed determination to continue to work assiduously to improve marketing efforts and consumer experience initiatives. I'm, of course, I'm happy as you can see. Uh, that we have won several awards tonight is something that we're proud of as a brand and it only shows that uh, continuously the brand has put in the best in ensuring that all our products get to the Nigerians and of course uh, that's why we're being celebrated here tonight. I'm super excited um, you know <laughs> the journey was was really very competitive so I'm happy. Everybody in the team is excited. I'm elated. It's actually a good thing to do the work and get the recognition. So I'm happy. Well, that was brand news. Nest is brand in focus after this break. Makanaki of life. What if they torture you like this now? Wahala for who no day up you? Because every day na Christmas we glow very good day. Plus plus with this and this and this. I did so they call everybody for my village. Begin they wish them Merry Christmas. Glow Brigade Plus Plus is here and every day is now Christmas. Existing Glow customers will get 400% bonus on every recharge and 100 MB data bonus on first recharge of the month. New Glow customers will get 1000 Nara welcome bonus. To activate, buy a new Glow SIM today or dial star 777 hash for existing Glow customers. Every day now Christmas with the Glow Brigade Plus Plus. Sensational world of love, now accessible through one code, star triple seven hash. Ho, ho, ho! 
there will be unlimited joy in over 5,000 homes every day this season in the globe. Joy Unlimited Extravaganza. <laughs> Five cars every month. 100 generators, TVs, and fridges every week. 5,000 free airtime and data winners every day. Simply recharge up to 500 Naira during the week to qualify. Dial star 611 hash now to enter the Glow Joy Unlimited Extravaganza. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Now on Brand in Focus. Marketing communications best friends can be found in regulatory compliance, knowing the basis and intents of marketing regulations and codes of conduct before developing strategies, posts, and tweets will give an agency or advertiser a better understanding of marketing regulations, including advertising and communications. With an increasingly global economy, regulations in many countries or even the laws of specific states within countries can impact national and multinational companies. Beyond what the law requires, many marketing communications associations have codes of conduct and ethics, and some companies have adopted their own standard of practice for ethical marketing. Recently, the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, APCON, the country's EPES regulatory body in the marketing communications ecosystem, eroded a new dawn in the advertising industry by putting new modalities to guide the council in its quest to be in tune with global standard of advertising practice. The council instituted a long-awaited advertising industry standard of practice ISOP, which took effect from the 6th of October 2021. According to APCON, ISOP is the new guideline for all advertising practitioners. However, the launch of the code has created mixed reactions among industry practitioners, with about 99% of all industry sectoral bodies giving their own alloyed support. In a statement, the APES regulatory body noted that ISOP was specifically set up to provide the regulatory framework in all critical areas of concern for stakeholders in areas such as engagement policy, payment terms and conditions, numeration model, media rates, and commissions, disengagement protocols, credit policy, return of advertisement, and measurement, peaceful resolution, and other regulatory industry protocols. It is expected that with the implementation of these guidelines, which has kicked off in earnest, the Council will be placed among the most progressive advertising and marketing communications industries across the globe. While key industry players are expected to support the iconic transition of the reform to ensure its success, it is pertinent to state that the success of ISOP will not only grow the business of advertising and marketing communications in Nigeria, but will also help to create other numerous job opportunities, either directly or indirectly for Nigerians. Feisty to say that to create an efficient marketing communications ecosystem, both nationally and internationally promote economic development and bring significant benefits for practitioners, consumers, and companies, as well as for society in general. Some sound standards of practice and ethical principles for marketers are required. Whatever the model, the goals of advertising and marketing standards of practice are the same worldwide. To demonstrate and ensure that the industry, and particularly advertisers, are compliant, and to produce responsible advertising with sound ethical standards of marketing and advertising practice to promote consumer confidence, a level competitive playing field, and a robust marketplace where consumer choice and trust thrive. When I was branding Focus, Nest is industry conversation where we have interactions with distinguished personalities in the field of marketing, advertising, and communication. Today on Industry Conversation, we will be continuing on our conversation we had earlier with the Registrar of the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, Dr. Leko Fadalako, after this break. <laughs> Christmas close again. Christmas no be one day. With this and this and this, every day now Christmas is close very good. Blood. And I feel they flex my sweet movies anytime. 
Glow Break It Up Plus Plus is here, and every day is now Christmas. Existing Glow customers will get 400% bonus on every recharge and 100 MB data bonus on first recharge of the month. New Glow customers will get 1,000 Nara welcome bonus. To activate, buy a new Glow SIM today or dial star 777 hash for existing Glow customers. Every day now, Christmas, with the Glow Perekete Plus Plus. Glow Break It Plus Plus is here, and every day is now Christmas. Existing Glow customers will get 400% bonus on every recharge and 100 MB data bonus on first recharge of the month. New Glow customers will get 1,000 Nara welcome bonus. To activate, buy a new Glow SIM today or dial star 777 hash for existing Glow customers. Every day now Christmas with the Glow Perekete Plus Plus. plan. Get bonus talk time, SMS and data for each family member you share with. Dow star 141 hash now. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Dr. Lee Konfad Alakbo is the Registrar of the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria until his appointment. He was the Executive Director of the Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, Triple AN. So pleased to have you with us again. Good You're afternoon. welcome. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Uh, I would like to ask you your takeaways from 2021 and how has it enhanced, you know, uh, prepared you for the coming year? Yeah, number one, you see, I've been in this industry for over two and a half decades. And this has made it a lot easier for me to settle down. So I have been a member of the HSG, SOL Advertising Sectoral Group. I serve as executive director of Chipwe. Mm -hmm. So I've been part of this whole process. This year, for me, um, it's been a very, very challenging year. We have so many projects that we have trying to work on that we have not really been able to. Um, for me, this year, uh, the ISO provides a learning, and it's a completely new thing in our entire industry. Uh, I just want to, just don't want to start uh, adding a few things to it. I must, if I, if I should, I will tell you that some countries have reached out to us as happened. They requested for a copy of the ISO because they said they needed to study it and to see how they can also follow suit and implement in their own market. Mm -hmm. So it is something that we need to build on. And let me also say that the ISO as it is, is not cast in stone. We will continue to develop ISO. Mm -hmm. We will continue to add new things to it to ensure that we have a stronger industry. At the end of the day, everybody should be able to look back and say we have a stronger industry. So my takeaway from this year is that there are so many learnings for us. The social media is playing a major role in this whole conversation. If I'm telling you that there's a major shift from advertising spent from the traditional media to the new media, it means that we need to be where that conversation is. As a regulator, mm -hmm. we must not only be regulating from our office, 
we must be part of that conversation. We must be ahead of those operators in terms of knowledge, in terms of skills, in terms of currency mm -hmm. of the technology as well as the market. And so we don't want to just sit down and just say we are regulator. We need to, when they are talking intellectually, we should also be part of that conversation. So for me, I think those are some of the areas that we are looking at, the takeaway for us this year. And we are trying to see how we can build capacity for next year so that we can be stronger when it comes to regulatory framework. Okay. Well, you've answered the question for uh, that I had in mind to ask uh, with respect to your projection for next year. I hope you've answered. Yeah. There's so, still more you want to say. As yeah. I, I saw, and of course, the um, new you know industry code of practice. Is there something else we should be expecting? Yeah, from the, 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 the highlights of the ISO, basically, I've said this at different interviews, um, one of the few things that ISOP is promoting is number one, the regulation of media rates. Uh, so the second one has to do with the credit policy. Um, agencies and advertisers uh, cannot own media houses beyond 45 days. Okay. And if this happens and the money becomes controversial, the media houses or the uh, service providers can also link up with Apcon and see how we can do as in this we start attracting interest. We are trying to promote a policy that we are calling localization. So that's that's one of the things we are promoting now, localization. Well, uh, the world has become a global village. And so you can hear things like we have a global procurement policy and that is what we are doing and stuff like that. But within globalization, you need to have a space for localization. As much as we are a global community, our local elements must play a role in it. Advertising by content, by context, must resonate with the community. It must promote religion, it must promote culture, it must recognize the people for what they are. So you can't be saying that, okay, this is a global village and you start bringing, we, we have so many things we, we need to do. We are moving on, the, 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 the advertising industry reform has nothing to do with ISOP alone. It's a whole lot of process. We are still getting to the point of imported advertisement. Another crime, for example, modeling is a huge industry. It's a big industry. Now, what happens to our own modeling industry? In other crime, voiceover is a big business for, for, for voiceover artists. But what happened to our mm -hmm. own sector? So if you if you look back, if you look at the industry, how many production houses, local production houses do we have now? So we, we believe strongly that in promoting the localization policy by APCO, that means we need to encourage all the service providers, the value-added people within that ecosystem of advertising. We need to bring them up. They need to add value. And as much as they're adding value, they should be able to be get remunerated for the value they are bringing in. If all the regulators align with the federal government policy and we are able to develop our own sector, then you can imagine the implication of that to the Niger, Nigeria. With what we have done now, even just offices that we have created, that means we have created jobs, yeah. number one. Number two, is that directly from Apple. There's no state that we will enter, and the state will not attract advertisement in investment. ISOP itself will attract investment. And look at the look at the ability to develop the modeling sector, for example or our ability to develop the voice over artist sector, for example. That means we will create jobs from that sector. So this whole thing is targeted at the federal government policy of inclusive growth for the Nigerian economy. So the, the, the thing for us is that we need to continue to be focused. We need to understand the fact that the advertising agencies play within the SME sectors. And so because they play within the SME sector, we need to encourage inclusive growth. We need to ensure. So we, as their regulator, we will continue to support and see how we can engage every other people to have a win-win situation. So what would be your advice to operators and stakeholders of the industry? Well, the, my, my appeal and advice to them is let us come together. You see... Is, is, is not a good thing for us to, we've, we've, we've experienced uh, banter 
claims and counter claims, accusation and counter accusation. Mm -hmm. And if you ask me as a regulator, every sector in industry is guilty. Every sector in the industry, talk about the media, talk about the agency, talk about the advertiser. So I'm not taking part and I'm not promoting uh, all this disagreement and unethical practices. But at least if we realize that we have wrong, let us sit down and reason a new way forward. My advice to them is let us embrace regulation. Let us embrace the new ISO. Let us see how we can develop the industry. A regulator, we are not regulating to strangulate. We are regulating for the development of the industry. Some of the policies we are rolling out now, in the immediate, they may look at it and say, what is the need for of me? But as we make progress, it will be clear to them that we are doing this in the best interest of their business, in the best interest of the economy, and in the best interest of the larger Nigeria. It may be very, very challenging for them to see what is in it for them now. But I can assure them that in the next few weeks, months, everybody will be happy with this reform. Next year is going to be a challenging year because we need to um, encourage more uh, players in the industry. We need to attract investment in the industry. And this is the only way we can grow the industry. I want to uh, plead with them. I want to advise them to continuously support APCON and ensure that APCON succeed. Because if we succeed, it means that everybody in the industry will succeed. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for having this time and conversation with us. All right, it has been an interesting time speaking with the Registrar of the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, APCON, Dr. Liko Fadolapo. Well, do well to join us again, same time next week, for another interesting time on Marketing Edge on TV. I'm Ogadi Abikele Mafuru. Bye for now. Everybody be under. You're waiting because of the shine. Long hair or short doesn't matter. Wash it or dreadlocks can be better. Only for girls we know better. Lush hair, lush hair. So you want to slay? Slay with swag. Baby, lush hair. Baby, lush how to make an impression and that's why they only trust lush hair extensions to bring out the shine in them lush hair be beautiful can i help you sir uh, yes madam uh, please what type of mocha mattress can ease this my back ache i am too young for all these aches and pains and how old are you sir I'm your sweaty. Ah, that you are. <laughs> Please come with me. <laughs> this is the mocha for you. I know you feel young at heart, but as you grow older, your body needs that extra support. The mocha well-being range of orthopedic mattresses, cradle yoga, and pressure points, giving you the comfort you need. of one's life that shape who you are. What if I told you that I was ready to make a big change? And when I say big, I mean big. If you want something out of life, This is our reality. This is Nigeria. And this <laughs> is my story. My story. 